Woo! And with that done, the story is finished. Now you can go in here and do free play. Huzzah with Uncle Amiibo and everyone else for that matter. But we still got some moons to collect. There's a lot of stuff out here. Let's find it. We got enough power moons. Let's go. We would, Cappy, but there are moons to collect. Dun, 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 dun. Back to the plaza. Now we got a lot more stuff to take care of, as well as a, a portrait, as you will. Now, a lot of people have been mixed about this, and I'm also the same, I'm on the same boat as well. I should have watched this one first. But, um, you know about those paintings, right? They warp you to a shortcut to a map of some kind. Well, I don't know why they did this. And I don't think they should have had this shortcut in this level. But we'll get there once we get there. But let's grab all these us uh, these coins here. I almost have all the coins, which is a kind of a shock. 84 of the coins so far. But there's a shortcut here, and I just like I wish it wasn't a shortcut to this kingdom. I know they were running out of kingdoms to be fair, but since it's like you know it's like the second like the third to last kingdom in the game, but still. But I think they could have hold this off for maybe the moon, the last kingdom, I think. I think the last kingdom should have been the shortcut to this kingdom. And unfortunately, it's going to be spoiled. And you know what that one is? The Mushroom Kingdom. Yeah, they spoiled an end game. They spoiled the end game before you got to the end game. Why did they? I have no idea why. So yeah, here we are, the Mushroom Kingdom, back from where we started. Back when we started. What a beautiful place this looks like, huh? Let's take out this fire out. Jump up this thing here, and it's not a power moon, it's a star. And it plays the Super Mario 64 theme when getting a star. <laughs> Oh, the nostalgia. Apparently, Power Moons come in other shapes. I had no idea. Hmm, hello. Sorry, I'm not at home, but I have gone to Peach's Castle. Yoshi. Oh, Yoshis are in this game, huh? Oh, well. We won't be seeing Yoshi until we beat the game, so unfortunately, back to the Luncheon Kingdom we go. I just, oh, I just don't like the idea they spoiled an in-game level. Just to have it. I know they needed a warp to a kingdom, but... Well, I guess he couldn't... Well, because they couldn't really use the uh, the last kingdom, you know, because that kingdom we don't know about yet. You have to watch out for the Hammer Brothers! Get out of here, Hammer Brothers! No one wants you around, okay? Da -da -da! Oh, man, we only have 13 coins away! I have to get out of here now with this 2D sector. Mm. Get the coins new. Warping around. Do 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 do. Ah. This is like the only. Also, this is another one of those rare sectors where secret area that's only one. There's only one of these, one moon each. So it's kind of interesting in fact. Also, we need to uh, also ground pound these things. Fix the ground up. If we do, we get a power moon for our trouble, so we might as well do it. We're going for more, we're going for 500 moons. We're gonna need every moon imaginable, and yes, we probably will go over 500 moons, at least over 500 moons at some point. But the minimum we're going for is 500. Oh yeah, yeah, a moon for our troubles. Thanks for that. You are very welcome. <laughs> you got a moon. All the cracks are fixed. Yeah, give me that portable, please. It's time to do probably a very annoying platforming challenge. A capulous challenge. I don't like this one. 
it's more like a Mario Galaxy type one without the without the you know the spin tack to keep you afloat. Ooh, because we have these platforms which rotate. It's kind of a little unfitting to be in a in the Luncheon Kingdom because doesn't this doesn't deal with food. So we want to get down here. We want to get down on the platform. Oh, I can actually grab these without actually hitting, without hanging down. That's cool. That's new to me. <laughs> kind of cheesed it there for a second. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Taking notes. Spinning athletics. Not bad. Now let's actually get to the actual real moon of this place, which has to do a lot of platforming. As well as there are also moons to, uh, coins to collect here. Ooh. Come up here and jump. Oh, goodness. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay, good. Okay, is there actually any coins in there? I don't think there's actually any other coins I have to collect in this place. Not that I can see. I think I got the coins in this area. Okay, good. Let's get that moon. And I did it on the first try. I usually have trouble with this. But I guess I did not, apparently. Okay, so. What else can we capture here? Out here in this goopy muck. Of, uh, lava and infused stuff. Do, 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 do. I think there's a oh yeah there's a moon there's some coins up there too oh and there's also a, oh it's a door down there too well I'll get the door next first purple coins we're only down to seven coins so there's probably just a four and a three somewhere and it's always the last few coins you can never ever find I will take that moon, thank you very much. Mm hmm. All right, treasure chest within the veggies. Oh, I didn't want the snapshot. There we go. Uh, I am not the ch I'm not the treasure anymore. No. <laughs> and again, that moon is only for post game or for post story. So bear that in mind. Let's see. Where are some other power moons that we can grab? I don't think there's any more back there, I guess? We could look. See if there's any purple coins behind the island. So let's get a look at that, shall we? Work back over here, grab a portaboo for our trouble. And let's see if we go find this little secret back here. Anything back here? Uh, I thought there would be something back here, but I guess not. Never mind. I thought there was some power. I thought there was some purple coins back there, but I was apparently in the wrong on that one. Let's jump up here into this cannon. Huzzah! Oh, I think I know where some are. I know where some power purple coins are. Right there! Now I need to get back over there. Where's the cannon? Cannon! Come back! I need you to jump me to victory! Now, if you haven't gotten to that power moon up on top of the crag there, that is the way to do it. Go in for that cannon and launch yourself. And that's like the other way you can get up there. But as I showed earlier, you can get up there without having to get up there. You know. Now, how is... Oh, ow. I thought there wasn't a port over there. I would have to get ourselves over there, but there is one I can use here. Huzzah! Ah, there's a four somewhere. There's another four bunches of coins somewhere. And that's gonna be a pain to find. <laughs> Let's see here. Where are those coins? Oh, there's an art moon here. Back in Bubble Lane. And I think I know where that is located. 
so I will take a picture of that just to be safe. And so we can use that as a way of an access point. Where are we going next? Hmm. That's always a question. Where do we want to go next? Just trying to see if I can find those four coins, but I'm not sure as to where those would be. Oh, I know. Maybe they're on the top of the mountain. That's really the only other area I haven't really fully explored, because you can get back up here. There we go. Let's get back to the top of this stew. Yep, you can come right back up here, and there's a moon up here for us. So let's go grab these notes. You have to do three sets of notes. Just like that. You have to do three jumps here. Oh, I messed up. There we go. And there's a power moon for our true rebels. Huzzah. Let's go get it, baby. Taking notes, big pot swim. Now, I'm thinking... Yeah, that's a post-game moon I'm thinking of earlier. Okay, so... I am trying to figure out where those last coins are. Because if I'm thinking right... They have to be on the mountainside somewhere. That's like the only real full place I didn't really fully explore because I took the shortcut. Ow! <laughs> okay. Go down the mountainside here. Maybe I can find something of worth. Ooh. Anything over here? Uh, I don't see anything. Ah, I thought that was ground. <laughs> I thought that was ground. Be careful those flipping platforms above. I duly noted. Okay? Duly noted. <laughs> Hmm, that's a good question. I'm always, I'm, it's always, it's always the last four coins I can never find. <laughs> Alright, let's head out of this way. Because I think we are done here in the, in the Luncheon Kingdom for the time being. So, let's see. Yeah, I think we're done here. Let's head off to the next kingdom, but we're going to need a better outfit. Actually... Before we leave, I want to get out of my outfit here. Go back to my Luigi skin. <laughs> Let's go, Luigi. I'm gonna have to take Luigi. I'm gonna take your clothes again. Cause I want to get the other stuff, like the souvenirs. So let's go get the souvenirs. May not get the the costume, the other costume here, but at least we'll get the. The souvenirs, at least. Let's go. Also, I can purchase all the rest of the stuff here, too, while I'm at it before we leave. Let's grab our little uh, thing there. Little sticker. Get some fancy, uh... <laughs> well, technically, they're baby forks. Would that be technically selling the kids of the forks, people? You know, I would not know. <laughs> I would not know at all. And we're down to 41 coins. Maybe we can buy one part of that costume. But nothing more. And Okay, well, since we're here, actually. Come back. Go back in the store. <laughs> Let's go get the rest of those, uh... The costumes we didn't buy in the bubble lane. The pirate outfit. And we'll change later. Yeah, we'll buy those. Maybe later. There we go, this one. No, I wanted to buy it, not wear it. There we go. The clown outfit. I do not like this outfit at all. <laughs> it looks so unsettling on Mario. <laughs> it really does. There we go. Now we got everything in the golden store. We are out of here. Let's head to the Odyssey. And uh, <clears throat> let's get out to the next kingdom.
We've completed this as much as we can here. Hmm, I wonder if the pirate... Actually, you know what? Now that I bought the pirate outfit, I think it would actually be really cool for what's coming up next, so... Yar! Yar! It's a pirate! It's a Mario pirate! Let up your bounty! Give up your bounty, or I'm gonna take the plank! Yar! Let's go! Let's put all these moons in, and let's head off to the next kingdom! We're coming close to the end of the game, too, folks. And we get... 345 moons! And the Odyssey has been powered up! Let's go! And we're off! Look at that! Look! It's... Ooh! We can now hit the Bowser's Kingdom! Wait a second! Oh! That can't be good! Bowser's Kingdom? Let's go! It's time to take it to the... It's time to... Yeah! We're going to... Uh, plunder the chest! Plunder the chest of the Bowser! Let's go! Alrighty! Heading off to Bowser's Kingdom! At long last! Yar yar! I'm Mario! I'm Mario! The Pirate of the Skies! Since he took some time to seal that stupendous stew, I imagine that's what he's serving at the reception. Seems like we got some time to kill. Let's read some useful skills. The cap jump. <laughs> I've known this a while, Cappy. I've used it. Don't you tell me about the useless skills. <laughs> now back to investigation. Next we have... Why? The, the, the Bowser in Bowser's Kingdom? Is that Bowser? I got a bad feeling about this. Whoa! What is that? Why, why are we shaking? Why? Huh? <laughs> Mario! Look what I got from another king for another kingdom! As well as a different game entirely! <laughs> Meets the Thunder! I don't even know what that is! Now let's see you survive this, plumber boy! <laughs> not again! Yeah, not again! Not the Odyssey! I have more pairs left on this thing! <laughs> that, will tell, that will teach you! <laughs> and I'm not even going to invite you to the after party, Mario! <laughs> I'll send you probably the YouTube video later! <laughs> well, welcome to the Ruined Kingdom. What a waste of potential this kingdom was. This is not really a kingdom. It's more of like three, uh, three buildings. That's about it. It's nothing like the, uh, it's nothing like the Lost Kingdom. All this, all this place is, is for a boss. That's about it. And there is also a post-game moons here as well. Like there's the, you know, the same container box down there, which adds maybe like maybe four, five moons at most in this place. What a... This is such a cool place, and yet they didn't capitalize on it. Yeah, but we also had a Dark Souls boss, apparently, coming after us. The the, thun, the Lord of the Skies. Goodness. Didn't think... Uh, didn't think... And it's like, where did Bowser find it? <laughs> it's like... It comes out of left field. Like, n like out of... It, it also doesn't feel like it adds... It, it just looks uncanny at, at best. <clears throat> Gotta take another drink. Ugh. There we go. So now we have to... Yeah, we have a boss fight. <laughs> it's time for the Pirate of the Skies. Pirate Mario to face off with... A next boss. The Lord of the... Uh, the Lord of Thunder himself. A Sky Dragon of sorts. Oh boy. So, let's talk about this bad boy. This guy. He has lightning, as also his lightning rings. He will shoot these out constantly at you at intervals. <clears throat> I 
After a while, he will slam his head into the ground, causing these wavelengths, these electrical waves to go out everywhere. But after a while, he will come to get tired. So what you need to do is actually take these little things off of his head. And now we'll reveal his weak point, hit him on the head, <clears throat> do this three times, and he will be done with. Okay. After getting hit, though, he will uh, hit more uh, rings at you, so watch out for that. These little crevices right here, these little cracks, will give you hearts if you need them. Oop. All right. And every time he uh, does this, uh, more of uh, these these little prings in his head will start to appear more. So you have to be more quicker on your feet. <clears throat> ah! Now there's five of the things on there. There's a lot more out there. And he's, every time he's going in, he's going to have more rings. More electrical rings to watch out for. Goodness. Oh boy. How did I avoid that? <laughs> Give me that heart piece. The cap throw is going to be your very best friend here because you can avoid a lot of the electrical waves here. Get up this way. There we go. Got it. Got it. Yes. Get it! Woo! What? <laughs> that was quick. Quick. You know, this guy was very intimidating and we hit him in his head three times and uh, he's done. He's a very old dragon, I guess. Oh, well. Let's get these moons. <laughs> there we go. Booyah! Yeah! With the Lord of Lightning, baby. We're out of here. Plunder the moons. 